Good day, brethren. You are welcome to RCCG New Covenant Parish's Open Heavens Daily Devotional. The Open Heavens Daily Devotional is written by our Father in the Lord, the General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God, Pastor E. Adeboye. And I pray that as you join me today, God will bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Today, 20th April 2024, we'll be looking at the topic, Your Known. Memory verse is taken from 2 Samuel 5, verse 4, which says, David was 30 years old when he began to reign, and he reigned 40 years. Our text is taken from Ecclesiastes 11, verse 9, which says, Rejoice, O young man, in thy youth, and let thy heart cheer thee in the days of thy youth, and walk in the ways of thy heart, and in the sight of thy eyes. But know thou that for all these things God will bring thee into judgment. A passage says, People in their noon are the ones we often call adults. You will notice that Jesus Christ started his ministry at the age of 30. John the Baptist, the greatest of the Old Testament prophets, according to Luke 7 verse 28, also started around the same age. Samson, by the time he killed a thousand people, was around 30 years of age. David, when he became king, was also about that age. Philip, when he was turning Samaria around for God, was also in the noon phase of his life. There's a saying, there's a tide in the affairs of men, which, taken at the flood, leads on to fortune, neglected all the voyages of their lives, are bound in shallows and mysteries. The noon time is when the flood comes. If you are a pastor around this time, there is hardly any sermon you will preach that will not be appreciated. With very little effort, the church grows. But the flood does not last forever. If you miss that flood, you will get to a stage where it would not matter how well you preach because people will say, we've had this before. So, we are looking at, you know, the noon time. Yesterday we looked at your morning, today we are looking at your noon. And we are talking about the fact that the noon time is a period when we refer to as adulthood, when people are mostly referred to as adults, probably age 30 and upwards. It was around that time Jesus started his ministry, John the Baptist started his ministry, Samson was doing exploits, Philip the Evangelist was turning Samaria up and down for God. It's basically adulthood. There is strength, there is time, and then, you know, it's a period when you can achieve a lot. You can achieve a lot when it comes to the things of God. And even in the physical world, in your career and all, you can achieve a lot around this period of adulthood. And our Father and Lord is making us even understand that even as a pastor, you know, it's a period when whatever you say, people will typically appreciate because you are, uh, you are, a person of the times, you understand the times, you understand what is going on at that time, and people will appreciate it. But by the time you get older and older and older, people will begin to say, oh, we've had that before, we've had that before, we've had that before. So it's a time when it is like there's a flood, a flood of achievement, a flood of impact, a flood of influence. If you miss that flood, if you miss that timing, if you let it go to waste, you will discover that you've not, you've not achieved much. So it's a time to be ready to seize the moment and to seize opportunities for impact. The noon time is probably what God was referring to when he said to Isaiah 60 verse 1 to 5, Arise, shine, for your light is come and the glory of the Lord is risen upon you. God is smiling on your efforts. There are those who made good use of their flood and as a result were able to keep going when the evening came. There was a young man whom God used to perform miracle signs and wonders. He prospered so mightily that he reserved a presidential suit in Sheraton Hotel permanently for himself. In those days, he was always traveling with five Mercedes-Benz cars. The number plates carried the name of the ministry, and each one was tagged Ministry 1, Ministry 2, Ministry 3, and so on. After a while, however, the flood subsided. Money stopped flowing in, the cars disappeared, and the police began to look for him because of the money he was owing the hotel. So, don't misuse the flood when it comes. Be wise to use your brightest moment so well that the brightness will remain, even when the evening comes. Don't waste your resources. Don't mismanage your wealth and the relationships God sends your way. These are some of the things that will keep the brightness when the evening comes. So we have been made to understand that the noon period, that adulthood period, is a time when there is like a flood, a flood of prosperity, a flood of influence, a flood of impact. Let us seize that moment and let us take care of the relationships, the prosperity, the health, everything that God has given to us during this period. Because the way we treat those things will determine how our evening will be. 
Some people during their youthful years, during their adulthood, during their, the known portion of their lives, they achieved a lot. They made a lot of money. They had a lot of impact, but they just mismanaged everything. And by the time evening came, there was nothing to show for all their efforts. So if you are listening to me now, God has already helped you. You are beginning to advance in your career. You are advancing in the work and service of God. Let us make use of that opportunity right now let us take care of everything god has brought our way those floods those flood of blessings flood of influence flood of impact that god is bringing our way let us make use of them now a time is coming when it will not be like that anymore and it's what we have used with the resources that we have is the way we've treated resources we have now that will determine whether it will still be relevant in our old age or not a father and lord gave testimony of you know a, a young man who god was using mightily and you know he bought mercedes benz cars reserved um hotel presidential suits for himself and was basically living large but after a while everything dried up he did not manage what he was given when that flood of blessing came he didn't manage it properly and eventually the police were looking for him because he was owing the hotel so let's be very careful and let us manage the blessings that God brings our way as we are making effort and we are using our strength for God. I pray God will grant us wisdom in Jesus' name. Our key point says, spend your noon time wisely. Don't mismanage it. Spend your noon time wisely. Don't mismanage it. Let us pray. Lord, we thank you for your word that has come to us today. We are asking, Lord, for your wisdom, that, Father, as we are making efforts and as you are sending floods of blessings into our lives during the noon time of our lives, we ask, Lord, that you give us the wisdom to manage them appropriately and to prepare ahead of the evening time when we will not be able to do as much in Jesus' name. Grant us wisdom. Grant us knowledge. Grant us understanding in the name of Jesus. Crown all our efforts with success in Jesus' name. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Thank you very much. God bless you.